Hey Kotski, today I have a story time about this key worker that lives like literally she lives uh, underneath me like she has her own room but obviously she only comes in for work. She used to smoke a lot of cannabis right and sometimes people like when they smoke cannabis and everything they get a psychosis. Um, and I swear to God, uh, the police came for me and they knocked down my door. So my door was open like for for two weeks. Anyone could have called in. And I swear to God, this is this is the point in my life where people that I didn't really know were trying to get into my house they were trying to have fun with me they were trying to like steal things from me they stole like suitcases they stole clothes they stole designer items but the worst thing that happened to me was this woman she would come into my room stealing things like lashes uh things from the company like Kisha cosmetics and everything and I swear to God, she 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 called in one night and she sat on my face and there was another bloke beside me and I think I just conked out because because I I literally could not stand the fact that someone came into my bedroom in the middle of the night and was trying to do all these things to me. So I called the police uh, the next morning I said hi I've been sexually assaulted by this key worker that works for social services and the police started laughing they were like what's happened I'm like this woman she clerked, she got into my bed because the door was unlocked she she tried to sexually like sexually uh, solicit me and she, and she s sat on my face anyway the police the police just wrote it down she was denying everything she's a she's a complete liar like she lies about everything like she's stolen my lashes in the last week and i don't know what she wants to do like with me because she keeps trying to fight me she's she had a fight with me at, at some point yeah i was still living in the house and and i walked in and she was like hey honey this and this and this and I said are you a lesbian and then I f fully punched her and and I had a fight with my landlord with this neighbor that lives just there he he took off my shoes while I was fighting them the police came and did, and I said to them yo this woman just had a fight with me and they said do you want to press charges or do you want to go to the hospital I said I want to go to the hospital because I had bruises all over my nose, all over my neck. This woman, she kicked me in the stomach. The ne the the neighbor, the landlord, he said to me, "You fuck with black guys, blah blah blah. You deserve this and everything." And I was like, "Okay, so I'm gonna go to the hospital until my door gets fixed." The landlord refused to fix my door. Uh. So, so I had to wait in the hospital until he fixed the door. But that's the end of the story. I'm still living in this crazy place. Can someone please move me so that I don't have to experience this again? Anyway, thank you, Kotki, for listening. This was the short story time. Uh, I'll do a makeup video later. Please like and subscribe for more content. And I'll tell you guys some more of my story times. Bye, Kotki.